By 7 p.m., an ailing Besije was still lying in an ambulance at the Entebbe International Airport's parking lot, waiting for security clearance. The FDC leader was accompanied by his personal doctor and sister, Dr. Olive Kopsinje, and FDC Women's League leader Ingrid Turinawe. Plain clothes security operatives reportedly surrounded the ambulance in which the ailing FDC leader was, blocking him from accessing the departure section of the airport. FDC Women's League leader Ingrid Turinawe says they had to make calls to the American and British diplomatic missions to intervene and convince security operatives to permit the flight. Uh, we, we did a lot of lobbying. We called all the embassies in Kampala and I think they have helped us. America, British. And after one hour's delay, Besige was finally allowed to fly. The Kenya Airways flight KQ414 left Entebbe International Airport for Nairobi at exactly 8 p.m. one hour after it was meant to fly. The FTC leader will be treated at a Nairobi hospital after he sustained eye and ear injuries in Thursday's standoff. Besige is being accompanied by a doctor from Kampala Hospital where he has been receiving treatment. Meanwhile, Besige's condition is said to be stable. His sister, Dr. Olive Kopsinje, says the FTC leader is still feeling pain in his eyes and the body generally. Well, that is stable, but he's still in, he's still in pain, especially his eyes. He's not um, in immediate danger in terms of transit from here to Nairobi, but uh, yeah, he continues to be unwell. However, Dr. Kopsinje says more investigations are needed. Isabel Nakiria, NTV.